Hi, welcome to another remake of an AutoCAD video tutorial. Now with audio commentary and in HD. Let's start with the sketch and the circle. So I go for circle, the center should be 0, 0. And the radius should be 10. Then I need some lines. One starts by 16, minus 1, goes up 0, minus, no, 2. And then I need a line with an angle, maybe like this. And the angle should be 160. And enter. And repeat the last command that's line. Go right here. And it should be 160 again. And you might trim the objects, select all. Okay, confirm, enter, and now I want a polar array, and this object, that object, and that object to be in a pattern, so confirm the selection, center point should be 0, 0, again, and I want to have four of them, take note, it's not associative, so these are single elements. Close array. See? Then I want to trim again. Select all. Yes. Take note, there are two lines here, two lines there, and two lines over here. Enter. So I want to remove one of them. of them and again one of them. Now I want to use pedit which you can find here. I want multiple elements. I want all of them. Confirm. Convert lines, arsons, plans to polar lines. Confirm yes. Join them Fast distance should be zero, confirm, and enter, and now we have a polyline. Now I need a helix. So we go for draw, and there you go. 3D polyline, and there is a helix. center point of base should be 0, 0. Radius should be right here. Top radius should be the same, so it's 16. And I want to have one turn, and the height should be 100. Okay, let's take a look. If we can't zoom further away, we would have to do a regeneration. Okay, that looks nice. So let's change the layer, go for a volume layer, then I need a sweep, let's check it out, modeling, solid editing, where is it right now, solid, there it is. And I need a sweep. So 
the object to be swept is this one. Confirm. And now you have to choose an option. Press right mouse button or press the arrow down key. Or just move right here and click and select alignment. Then you get an option, yes or no. And you don't want to align the sweep object perpendicular to path. So I go for no. You can click here, here, or right mouse button and select no. So I go for no. Then I select the sweep path. That's this one. And I'm already done. And let's change the visual style. For example, here, press left mouse button and then go to, let's say, realistic. And there you go. And I'm done. So, hope you enjoy this remake. Coming up more, just hide the sketches. Okay, that's it. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.